We're live at Threat Stadium here in New York, New York, the home of the Tyrants, who would like to remind you that the game will begin after the mandatory half an hour clapping is over. The first one to stop clapping will be killed. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the MFL. The team storm the field. The New York Threats battle. The New York Tyrants. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, I was hitting on the title now. Hey, oh, man. <laughs> Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? And MFL game day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow and my partner Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. Heard you got a little touch of the mutant bird and pig flu. How you feeling, partner? Well, uh, the projectile vomiting finally let up, but the, the monsoon mudslides have begun. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I've been like... Oh. I've been literally cramping his brains out all night. He's getting stupider by the hour, if that's even possible. And it's first and ten. Kind of reminds me of that painting of Dad carving the turkey. Grandma. <laughs> with extra mayo. First down and long. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down and forever. Kaboom! And the quarterback unleashes a sonic blast against the defense, knocking everyone down but his receiver. Oh, great pass on that play. They caught the defense napping. Second down and long. First and ten. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Second down and ten. They could not connect on that play. Third down and ten. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. Man, he's running like a bull on steroids. That'll be a first down. First down and three. Okay, 
Nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Second down and more than the QB would like. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when it... Hey, if you kill a ref, it's not murder if they have it coming, right? Take the hit. Do something about that ref, you pussies. Second down, and we've got a pin. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And the defense spiked the offensive water with Strawberry Fields. And now they can taste sound but can't remember what the concept of time. He refuses to go down. That's a six yard gain on that catch. Third down and forever. Just burn the defense pretty hard on that one. Yeah, it's still edible now. Just gotta scrape off the charge parts. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. Well, that's a lovely shank for the punter today. He just put his team in the hole. Nicely done. Nice. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we got about a quarter after three, Grim. Is a bit slow. And it's first and ten. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Second down and five. Knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to place a bat. Third and two. Might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with well lad. Uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimos burying salmon heads, kimchi. I'm at it, anything really tastes good. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Hey, 
you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? Because I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> And it's first and ten. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Second down and two. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Third down and three. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You got to keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You got to make that catch. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. Rainbow. He's got the ball now in his pal with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. First and ten. Hey guys, this isn't funny. I swear you're drunk. I'm not drunk, but seriously, stay in drugs, eat school, and don't do vegetables. Ah, that junior's having a flashback, man. What do we do? Down and talk so he out it comes up. Ah, yeah, right. Pick up for six yards. And that'll bring up third down and seven. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. And it's first and ten. First and ten. And this guy is supercharged. Oh, he took a leap and had the ball knocked out. Fumble. He's got a case of fumbleitis. He's at the 40. The 30. He's at the 20. The 10. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's more of a downest guy than a speed seat trap. He's running from his demons, it's clear. <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And 
And it's first and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. And it's first and ten. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Don't worry. If he shots you to death, maybe he can shut Oh, and the defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Banji. The new game from Wilton Crabtree. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Defense goes one speed. Man, that and he just slipped away like a he is running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. And the quarterback signals for a hurry up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Caught for the first down. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I'd do. Hey, man, you see that? That's right. You can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First down. 
Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. I call that the honeymoon offense. I'm not going to touch that one. That's what she said. And I'm out. Get out. And it's first and ten. Ten-yard pick up there. Normally a first down, but here, he's just making up ground. Yeah, like the way the commission makes up news. Second down the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And that's a nice run for a first down. And it's first and ten. He picks up eight yards on that pass. Second down and two. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Second down and 10. And the defense spiked the offensive water with Strawberry Fields. And now they can taste sound, but can't remember what the concept of time is. Third down and long. Drills one in for the first down. First down and one. You can't keep a good mutant down. Second down and two. Sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Third and two. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? than the baby resulting from an orcish family reunion. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a grease turk. They might consider calling a kill the ref play. Just saying. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. Hey, a sawbuck says he misses. Let's move on. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chimp wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. And 
picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I gotta, uh... <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. Defender cut off that pass like a sub. Oh, what a punishing hit that was! And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Cause he just walked all over him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. about a three-yard pickup. Second down and seven. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. You gotta love a player who goes down fighting. I think the defenders are scared of this guy, Bricks, and they have every right to be. Yeah, he's a murderer! And it's first and ten. Killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, this scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Nobody can touch you with eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Dirty trick. As my mentor Hunter used to say, I don't advocate drugs, alcohol, narcotics, or insanity to anyone, but they've always worked for me. That's the end of the third quarter. This game is going to come down to the wire. Second down in a very lot. for nine on that play. Third down and six. You've got to catch that. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And he's got a chance. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. 
And it's first and ten. And that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. And that'll bring up second and one. What? I mean, first down! What the hell was that? I, uh, I honestly don't know, Grim. And he laterals at the left. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the changes, Gordon, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. Third down and the punter is warming up. sure who he was throwing to on that play. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Get your motor running. <laughs> Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. of about three on that play. And it's first and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. Second down and two. He is rolling thunder and pouring pain. It's a zap attack. Oh! was hitting mid-hurdle and fumbles the ball. The defense just wanted it more and got it. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Graham. Oh, and it's first and ten. Supercharged and can electrocute any opponent. Oh man, I love this dirty trick. The quarterback unleashed. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Missed a beat for Bray Fran with a ball and didn't fall out. Yeah, good game for Yeah, Okay, nice and easy like.
like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. With a brutal hit. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. He could go all the way. And it's free. They stop the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. The receiver makes a grab for five yards. Second down and five. The QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Third down, and, and that's the last timeout. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of that constant, relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling them. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. Oh, great throw. Great catch. And then put six points on the board. The defense could do anything to stop a throw that good, Grim. You mean aside from priming the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? They're going for two points. And he finds his target for two. Side kicks the desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a possession. Steal it. The four people on the planet who care about rules and kickoffs must be happy to see a flag down. I'm just happy to see anything after that laser pointer accident. I don't know which guy are. <laughs> the kicker's going to have to kick the ball just right so his team can recover it. Usually only talk about kickers when they win or lose games. Well, this guy just earned his paycheck. Which is typically the amount the quarterback tips on dinner. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. He had it for a second there. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Don't try 
to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. And it's first and ten. He runs it for three. Second down and seven. The New York Tyrants lose the game. The home team comes up two points short and a real heartbreaker. It was also a backbreaker, a kneebreaker, and a neckbreaker. What, with the Quaker, the Baker, and the Candlestick Maker? What are you, three years old, you fucking sim? He's got a point, Bricks. Let's take it down to the MVP. Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.